श्री साधु 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 सो डियर दामा फ्रेंड्स एस ह्यूमन बींग्स इन आवर लाइफ देर इज अ डीपर डिजायर अराइज टू नो थिंग्स वी लाइक टू नो and mostly with this knowing desire following the the knowledge and mostly we focus to outside world but to get into the liberation to get into the the salvation yourself get into the transformation within yourself always remember you have to look inward and when you look inward it is a method process by process you cannot just do it itself suddenly and when you look at this outside world that we can see that even this material world have the same thing see that today from america that you have seen that uh, there is a rocket went to space center and the step by step process one by one one by one part by part it is not the just the direct journey it's go so the same thing in the when you have the process go towards the wisdom remember it happen step by step it is a process but just thinking about the ending part doesn't mean you going to become that uh, successful in this very moment but you have to have a destination you must know where you should go that's why as uh, as buddhist we keep our goal in the highest place in this sky that is nibbana liberation so once you have that the very step that you take today the very thought the thought happening in this very moment is with the matter than thinking about once you find out your goal the very important thing is the very basic step that you taking in this very moment so that one thought recognition going to change and or the the desire to your destination so the one thought recognition can change the huge path so the same like when a flight take off inch by inch inch by inch it slowly get into the right direction and but still it it has a path to go so same like the whatever the thought that you recognize that thought or oh, slowly if you allow or oh, if you have a desire if you know oh i need the peace i need the harmony i need the tranquility state just knowingly that and having a thought itself and settle down yourself and if you don't care the moment that you go through don't think itself it going to happen overnight no it is a process that you have to work moment by moment moment by moment it is not depending from your future it is not dreaming about the future but you have you know where to go knowingly that so you have the, you have a purpose knowing with that purpose you work in this very moment thought by thought thought by thought minute by minute and in that very minute you have to recognize the major thing as major minor thing as minor so when it come to that major once you have the the recognition what the most important thing in this very moment and you give attention to that so with that attention when you stay and develop your journey little by little little by little and 
that journey itself you going bring you the kind of result so this is a profitable skill you have to develop so rather than reacting because we 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 have a nature to react moment by moment even though we all have the idea what we need in our life why we cannot achieve that mostly because we have this inner reactive nature but when it come to meditation you recognize thought by thought thoughts by thought and then you recognize what is the major in this very moment and what is the minor maybe the other people appreciate that because it is the minor thing my, the for your journey whatever the major thing for someone else it can become minor not important that much maybe someone else something so important the entire world cheer for that go for that but for your journey it is just the minor thing it is not that much important so then you have to recognize that and other thing is once you recognize the major thing as major you have to come out of the the reactive nature because we we sometimes we recognize the major thing as major minor thing as minor but still we have reactive nature so when it come to vipassana what you develop in meditation once you recognize the thoughts and you recognize the major thing as major minor thing as minor for your goal or for your achievement you develop responding nature you re reactive and responding to different things to respond you have to recognize your abilities and your capabilities and also the other person or the other side and in between this both the time and space this all you have the complete whole structure you have to understand so your mind has capability to understand that when you start to respond because if you react so you can you can do it you can experiment yourself as i mention every day don't just keep listening just listening doesn't make any sense so you have to use this you have to get into this knowledge using it yourself implementation try to develop that quality within yourself every day so once you recognize the anything as major rather than responding to it once you start to rather than reacting to it once you start to respond you become more aware that awareness is the important thing that awareness is called janati so that is the first step you entering to wisdom janati how the janati arise janati means you recognize that recognition complete it is not you you don't recognize something wrong or you don't recognize the minor thing as major profit in profitable skill as a profitable skill you recognize profitable skill as a profitable skill and not only that you recognize how what is the mechanism of inside it and why it become profitable there are some people they know something is good but if you ask what make it good they don't know there are some people knows certain things not to do not good to do it's something there are certain things bad 
But if you ask why it is bad, they have no idea. So, but Janati means when it come to your own, when you in, in come to your inner understanding for the moment, for one moment, one thought. So this all we talking about the one thought quality. When the one thought arises, why? Because the one thought has a power to take direct direct you to attain to Buddhahood or the attain to enlightenment, and one thought has a power to take you a journey in this entire samsaric journey through many 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 times through the hell. So it is. So that's why one thought once you are able to recognize as a profitable or unprofitable skill that the thought or is it a minor or it is a major and also the you cut down the reactive nature you develop the responding nature top of that thought so then you already completely handling yourself that thought that thought cannot behave itself and it cannot get the influence by the current that we already keep doing inside that us which we call mental formations or the sansaric journey or the habit so when the the respond ability come it overtake the thought and it cut down the habit that the thought come with the with our mind when that ability have once you have that that moment it is called janati once you then you are in the point janati so be very clear then and then you launch that thought through your bodily, verbally, or mentally as an action. So beginning to end, when that action go through your bodily, verbally, or mentally process, knowingly you are with that thought. It calls Sanjati. Janati Sanjati. So then, once you go to the go through, now you have a thought. I am talking about one thought. So break it down. It is not a complete idea or the the one year, two year project. No, one thought. And the, then one thought you recognize, and you recognize it as a major thing or the minor thing, and you drop down as a minor thing so to drop down as a one thought as a minor also you have to have this this knowledge because if you think this is minor and if you don't respond to it to that the suppress or the put it down maybe you allow it to be there in the silent mode and what is happening it is start to to be there no, once you recognize if there is something as a minor, so you have to have certain effort to keep it as a minor or to push it down and uplift the other side. Because it's like dust. So you see the dust in day to day life everywhere. And sometimes, uh, even in a like a camera, because it is very sensitive for dust or maybe your watch or something very special machine that if you neglect the dust and what will happen little by little little by little that dust can create something inside it so then you have to remember once you recognize in this very moment it is a minor thought don't neglect it why because if you neglect it going to be there in that level and then little by little little by little little by little and you you complete the major thing 
and then suddenly once sometimes when you get into rest when there is no major thing in your mind for the moment the whatever that minor thing if it is it still exist what will happen that minor thing become major so it is it is very deep try to recognize this is why so as example you want to eat something and then the doctor say don't eat don't eat sugar so i just get a physical example you can apply it to anything so while you listening you have to you have to you have to get other examples and because according to the time we cannot get into that examples so the doctor say don't eat sugar but you find a cheesecake in the middle of the night and then you recognize oh this time is not good to eat and uh, why because doctor told me and the, now you recognize major thing as major and minor thing as minor so that it is a minor thing the major you have to go to sleep and have a good rest at night maybe that is what you have to do or maybe you have to read a book or you have to practice meditation or something and then you keep that idea eating cake is not good for that moment so that makes sense you know you have a point why because there is something you have to do and then you done it then you come to rest you sleep and in the morning you complete and done and everything good you had a good rest and everything okay now you rest in that resting moment that cheesecake become the major thing deeply inside your mind it going to take you if you not aware in that very moment and if you didn't have the sanjati why you make it as a minor so in that very moment if there is nothing to do maybe you going to go for that cake but if you had the idea oh this has sugar if i eat this this going to make me sick again so like that if you see why it is become minor uh, that will help you to it doesn't matter if you are resting or if you are busy or doing even if you are hungry you are not going to go for it so that is why you have to be the complete process when it come to sanjati you have to know exactly 100% crystal clear you know it major thing as major minor thing as minor and uh, you are not responding and with the fully capacity of your mind consciousness awareness with the sati sampajan knowingly you responding to your one thought so it is a process and then that thought if you it is it is go away or if it is become action then you have to have the bodily verbal your mentally action the process and the, that process you keep tracking itself sanjati janati sanjati and the pajanati means pajanati means 100% from beginning to end you know crystal clear how it happened and with the authority of with the complete power of your consciousness awareness clear comprehension sati sampajanya you end your bodily verbally or mentally action if you able to do one thought action janati sanjati pajanati this whole process that thought has no power to create a habit inside you or create a, the repetition reaction or the karma inside you so that's how when few able to develop that process for a one thought in that one thought arising existence and disappearance with the the process of action 
you complete that completion itself take you out from the sansara why because how the sansara arise sansara arise with the mental formation you have a thought and that thought you don't recognize major thing or the minor thing the reaction come with that thought from your past memory and take it and the thought have the authority to go with the the reaction or your past habit and then you don't know what the outcome come through your bodily or maybe the bodily mentally or verbal action and that action again bring the reaction 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 so it become action reaction action reaction action reaction this process we call life life is the result of a, of your actions and reactions that is what called sansara but breaking down is you can do it to break down you have to focus to your mind not only focusing you have to go with the patris with your mind with this process remember sanjati there are few qualities when it come to sanjati how the sanjati become complete you recognize the thought that thought major thing or the minor and then without reacting learn to respond that is sanjati and the uh, the janati the sanjati means the it it the the thought arise itself it not going to disappear why because thought arise as a result of the the previous current that's called sanskar mental formations so it's like a seed just throwing away or holding it pushing it suppress hiding it you cannot that kill it or you cannot take out the nature of it or just keep it, keeping the seed in front of you just praying or don't become a plant don't become a plant that doesn't mean the seed not going to become a plant one day if it if it is find the good soil it will become a plant so like that the thoughts so that's why sanja that the, the re, it it has a reactive nature so the process if you aware if you mindful the process going to become okay and then pajana the complete you complete the process till you watch you observe you are monitoring the process knowingly from beginning to end and the end is when the end result come you know this thought end here and then when the another thought come you get back to that another thought with that process when the another thought come you get back to with that process so if you have this process janati sanjati pajanati this process moment by moment that is what called clear comprehension sati sampa janya so that is a method that is the method in the deeper level of vipassana you in this very moment you break down your the pattern of sansara and in that very moment you have no dna reacting as a pattern it's completely become new moment for you in that is the moment you can end the, the journey of sansara so i hope this will help for you with this i bless upon everyone by the power of this good patris may all of you be well happy and peaceful may no harm come to you may no difficulties come to you may no difficult problems come to you may you also have the patient courage understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life and finally may all of you attain supreme bliss of nibbana so during this time period May everyone stay healthy and safe. Sabhi tiyo vajjantu sabbaro go vinazadu mate bhavatandara yo suki diga yuko bhava Vittavata chami sambadam punya sambadang sabbe deva no more than to sabba sambad this India sabbe bhuta no more than to sabba sambad this India sabbe tata no more than to sabba sambad this India idam me punya kamma 